Hey everyone, my name is Louis and I'm a customer success associate here at Xeno. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to query a database table using a specific month. This could sound a little bit tricky for some users because some of the month and on the 31st, some of the month and on the 30th. However, this could be easily achieved here in Xeno by creating a variable and automatically detect what is the last day of the month that you're using as a query parameter. Here on my screen, I have a table of invoices and I'm going to query this table using this due date column over here. And here I have a fresh API endpoint. I'm going to start by adding the inputs and I'm going to use a simple text field and I'm going to call it months. In another one, then I'm going to be calling year. Good. Now I'm going to create a variable to define the format of my date. So I'm going to start by going to data manipulation and create a variable. And since the day is not going to be used uh, anywhere throughout our function stack, you can define end day. I'm going to use 15th because it's going to be easier to identify the first day and the last day of each month as we progress in the creation of our API endpoint. So the format I'm going to use is uh, dash percentage sign D dash percentage sign D. And I'm doing this because I'm going to replace these values by the values set in the input. So I'm going to use a tutor called SpringS. And this is going to be replaced in order. So the first thing, the uh, first reference that we use is the month. And the second one is the year. Good. So let me show you what I got so far. So if I used month 11th of 2023, this is what I got. But this is being set as a text field, right? As we can see here, text. So we need to tell Xeno that this is not a text. This is a date or a timestamp. And Xeno stores the timestamp fields uh, in the unique timestamp format. So we need to transform this into a timestamp to see what we got. And there you go. And now we have the unique timestamp format. Although this is not human readable uh, format, now Xeno can pull the day, the month, and the year, as well as the time from this timestamp. So let's go ahead and create another variable that's going to be the first day of the month. So let's call it first day. And the value is, uh, first let me uh, rename this var1 to month and year to be easier to handle. So now I'm going to call it first day and I'm going to use the variable month year. This is what we just uh, assign in the first step. And right now we're not doing anything, right? So we need to apply a filter here that is going to be under timestamp and transform timestamp. And the format is this one. Uh, here is this our documentation. So uh, I'm going to leave these links here in the description of the video. But basically what it does is that it tra can transform automatically using relative formats from PHP. Since Xeno uses PHP under the hood, uh, you can use this uh, relative formats to make any transformations to your data. And what we want here is this first day of sets the day of the first of the current month. Uh, since this is our current month at the time, what we just need is first day. Good. And let's see what this returns to us. Now I'm going to change response to first day. Well, we can understand that this is November the 1st, but we can apply a filter here to make it human readable. And this is going to be called the format timestamp that also uses PHP format to go about it. So we're going to use here D for slash and for slash O. And let's see what we got. Good. So November the 1st. So if we use any other month, let's say the 10th and okay, the 1st of October. And we just need to do uh, something very similar or repeat the first steps for the last day of the month. 
So now let's go last day. And the transform here is going to be the last day of. And let's see how it goes. Let's change here to the last day to return. And good. Now we have uh, October 31st. And let's see for November. Hmm. And let's see for December. Good. Excellent. Now we can use uh, the, this variables first day and last day to query on our database table. So we're going to make a database request and query all records from the invoices table. And the custom query will be that if the due date is higher or equals to the variable first day and the invoices due date is lower or equals the variable last day. Okay. So first let's take a look at our table and we want to query this, uh, for example, October, we're going to have the IDs six or six and seven. So let's use October. Okay. So we're getting this error because we transform our timestamp, but this is not necessary to be used in the query. So let's get rid of this two transformations here. Okay. And let's also change the return to the invoices. And good, we have the IDs six and seven. So now let's try September to get IDs uh, three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Awesome. If you have any questions, uh, leave here in the comments down below this video. And if to learn more about our tool, you can visit our community. Also to overcome any roadblock that you might eventually face. You can also reach out to us via support chat. And don't forget to subscribe to the Zeno YouTube channel. See you in the next video.